My coverage of Computex 2017 is brought to you by MSI, EVGA, Tesoro, G-Skill, and Cooler Master. So guys, as you probably know, Cooler Master is also one of my sponsors, so I am stopping by their booth here at the Nangang Exhibition Center. They have a new Cosmos case and a new half case, and, uh, and we're gonna check them out. Let's go. So guys, I know I just teased you with the cases, but I'm stopping by peripherals first, because Cooler Master does that too. Here it is, the flagship MK750. They're working on this right now. It's going to feature, of course, all the Cherry MX switches that you might uh, want to have because Cooler Master works with Cherry and they usually have all the available uh, Cherry MX switches. Uh, but look at that nice light bar kind of going across the front there. That's pretty clean. Also, they've added a wrist rest, something that was uh, frequently requested with the Pro Series uh, when, in, in, in the Master Keys lineup. Uh, of course, you got individual RGB backlit keys. Uh, Cooler Master is continuing their tradition of high build quality, making sure that it's like steel reinforced inside and everything, right? Okay, yeah. Steel reinforced inside, you can basically use this in a knife fight or something to protect yourself if you get attacked. It will save your life. Cooler Master guarantees it. I'm just kidding, I just made that up. But uh, it will at least give you a really nice tactile feel when you're uh, typing, of course, due to the uh, mechanical switches. And uh, I also kind of like what they've done with the, the low profile look. Uh, on the like the, the the windows key. I'm trying to point at this, but it's terribly out of focus the windows key uh, Here and over here. They just kind of have their outline of their logo also down here in the center um, Rather than having the, the words on it. So I think that's that's kind of a cool look um, This should be available uh, at about Q3 looking at August September time frame and is going to retail for just about $159.99 so a very nice option, a very nice addition to Cooler Master's Master Key series. At the top end, the Master Keys Pro 750. Now here we have the whole lineup of Master Keys. We got the Pro L, Pro S, RGB, and all that good stuff. And honestly, you guys are probably already familiar with these because I have been doing uh, pre-rolls on them. You may have seen them on my channel. So whether you want small, medium, or large, you can get it. But uh, what Cooler Master is doing is they're trying to make sure that these LEDs don't suck. They know that not everyone's into it. They want to make things a little bit more useful. So whether you want an FPS configuration or Overwatch or MOBA or anything like that, uh, you can get the configurations to load up onto the keyboard. Uh, of course, you can set those with the pre presets. Everything is internally saved to the keyboard. But you can access it with the function keys and pressing other stuff. You can also save profiles. And a great way to also give yourself some helpful uh, indication via those RGB LEDs rather than just having them light up and look pretty. Now, if you guys are familiar with the Cooler Master Devastator combo, that's a mouse and a keyboard uh, that you can get for really, really inexpensive, like 40 bucks, sometimes even 30 bucks on sale. A really nice setup for an entry-level gamer. Now, if you want to step up to something that is a little bit closer to a full mechanical keyboard experience, you can try the MS120, uh, which is the Master Set 120, which is this keyboard, and it also comes with this mouse over here. These are mechanical switches, so they are sort of a combination uh, of mem membrane and mechanical. So you're not going to get quite the durability, but you are going to get the same clicky tactile feel. They've updated this with clickiness. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it very well because it's really loud in here right now, but these have a really nice feel. They have about a 55 grams uh, actuation force, and uh, I, I really like the feel of them. Very, very, very similar to a full mechanical feel. And the fact is you can get that keyboard and the mouse for $89.99. So, wow, I think that's a pretty good deal. Uh, the mouse itself is right here. You got your, uh, your wrist rest. This is a little bit more for a claw grip, um, but they also have, of course, palm grip options over here. Um, if you don't want to buy the combo, you can get the mouse by itself. So additional options for the mice, MM530, MM520. The, the higher the number, the better the quality of the mouse, for example. Uh, but you do get the 12,000 DPI PixArt sensor. This is what the uh, Avago sensors are now called. They are optical sensors, uh, they have rugged PBT buttons, uh, and depending of course on your grip and your feel and how you like to use your mouse, uh, Cooler Master's got you covered. So uh, here, here's your chart for reference. Palm, claw, or modular. And just to round out all the peripherals here, the Master Mouse Pro L and Pro S. Uh, the two on the left here are $59.99. These have been out for a while, so you might already be uh, familiar with them. But again, depending on your grip and everything, uh, there's different variations of it. And these still also have that 12,000 DPI sensor. Uh, you got the Master, Master Mouse S on the right as well, and that is a less expensive option. All right, we got one more peripheral. This is the MH320. Uh, it is a headset, so kind of the sequel to the Master Pulse, but you also get a boom mic. It's going to cost you about 40 bucks. It has a steel band going around the top. It's got a boom mic, so it can position the mic in front of your face, so it can pick up uh, what you sound like. 
It's got some nice, this, this has got to be like faux leather or something like that in there for the ear cups, nice and squishy. Uh, so for anyone who's looking to get into the headset game for a reasonable price, check out the MH320. Oh lordy, all right, you guys are familiar with the HAP series, right? High airflow, very iconic uh, series of cases that Cooler Master made, I will say back in the mid to late 2000s. Uh, they're bringing it back. They're basically creating a line, so these are still be branded Master Case, but when it has an H, like the H500 right here, uh, the H is going to mean it's half. 500 means it's a mid tower. And oh my gosh, look at this, look at this case. I think this is pretty nice. All right, so you got a tempered glass side panel. Uh, you have, of course, all steel interior construction. Uh, you have a basement down on the bottom for your power supply. You have the option to mount your graphics card out here if you want. And then uh, moving over to the front, although the system did just turn off, uh, you have 200 millimeter fans, two 200 millimeter RGB fans, which is pretty impressive. Uh, these are the first 200 millimeter RGB fans, we are told, uh, from Cooler Master. And then on top, you also have three 120s. Uh, so I'm imagining you can, can, you can set up some crazy radiator configurations with this case. Up on the front, you got your USB 3.0, USB 2.0. This is a uh, sample product that they've got going on, so uh, I'm trying to turn the system back on. So yeah, yeah, it, it's a uh, work in progress, of course. These are all samples that they have going on, so they're not necessarily finished goods. Um, but yeah, this is looking really sweet. I also kind of like what they've done with the cable management area in here, here in the back. We've got some brackets that can pop on, a couple removable SSD trays, uh, and overall just really nice looking system. Uh, I don't know what this is going to cost or when it's going to launch, but I'm told it might be like 150 bucks or less. Even maybe as low as like 130 or 140. So uh, keep your eyes out for this one again guys, the Mastercase H500P, part of the half series. High airflow. And here's the big boy, the Cosmos C700P. This is the successor to the Cosmos, which they just did a 25th anniversary edition of. And that was just kind of a send off. This is the new version. So it still has the iconic handles up at the top and down at the bottom. They've added, of course, RGB LED lighting, uh, some accents around the IO at the front, as well as across the top, as well as some underglow lighting down at the bottom. This can all be controlled via the button at the top of the case, which means that uh, you can cycle through all of the seven or eight preset colors that are in there, or you can cycle through to motherboard control mode, and uh, you can use the direct plug into the motherboard option, so you can sync everything with the motherboard. Side note, there is an RGB uh, 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 support here inside as well for the GPUs, which is kind of cool prevent the GPU sag. Now internally, this thing is absolutely completely modular. You can take it apart and move everything around and put it back together. All of the screws that are used internally to hold the whole thing together are the same. So you can't really like lose this specific screw that's made to put things together in a certain way. You just got replacements available. The motherboard can be set up as is. The motherboard can be rotated 90 degrees or it can be rotated 180 degrees. So that's pretty cool as well. You might notice the side panel is a curved tempered glass piece. It's the first time I've seen anything like that. Uh, and just a, bat, a badass beastly case. I mean, I was surprised to see what they had done here. On the front panel, you've got USB 3.1 support right up there, so uh, compatible with those new headers that we've seen. Uh, it's a Type-C connector as well. All four USB 3.0 ports up there as well. And then uh, finally, They've also got a couple steel panels that are in there uh, that can also be removed with those same screws. Those will help you cover up and protect your uh, expansion area for drives. There's a bunch of drive cages uh, that you can put on the right side here. There's also the shroud that covers the PSU at the bottom. Again, also removable. And with a really cool look, they're kind of inverted and curved in, which is something that I just haven't really seen before. There's another panel uh, that's very similarly designed here on the back. Just held in with a couple screws, so you can pop that off to protect uh, your cable management area. They did apologize for the cable management in here. This was a very hasty job that they put together. And there is a fan hub down there. It looks like it can support, oh gosh, it looks like at least eight fans. Yeah, something like that. Plus some RGB controls. That's a customized uh, control board down there. And it's not gonna be red in the finished model. Uh, they are gonna update that with a different color. Probably black, I'm guessing black. So again, guys, that's the Cosmos 7, I'm sorry, Cosmos C700P, the successor to the very, very popular original Cosmos. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close the side panel here. I don't wanna, gotta leave, gotta, you know, take only memories and leave only footprints. Uh, so there it is. Let me know what you guys think of this case in the comments. I think it's pretty badass. No idea what it's gonna cost.
And guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Of course, I need to finish by thanking my sponsors once again, Cooler Master, of course, as well as EVGA, MSI, Tesoro, and G-Skill. I'll be coming back very soon with more coverage from Copytex 2017, so hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys in the next video.